Oh, what's going on guys? My name's James Ozzy I, and you are watching a 14 0 with the MSMC on Carrier. Now this isn't my favourite map, but I did a really, really good job at playing this map in a style that I'm not really used to. Uh, rushing into certain sections that I don't normally do, so I thought I'd give you this video. And I want you guys to hit the original quality button, because this is the first time I've uploaded an original quality on the S&D Elite. But one of, one of the advantages of being on PC is I can play in higher resolutions than even console can handle. So 1080p is what's the mainstream re resolution at the moment, but this is actually at 2560 by 1400 which is like 2.5k essentially. So I hope you enjoyed the quality of the video. Um, and today's subject is baiting players out and ad adapting to situations. Now in this video I adapt to situations and bait players out in certain ways that it allows you to gain such a, an advantage. And you're going to see this in this round here, the second round. I see a guy in front of me and he's running towards me. I act like I haven't seen him. If you act like you haven't seen him, they're not going to know any better, guys. So if they don't think that you've seen them, they're even going to stay in that position or they're going to push and make themselves vulnerable for you to kill them. So in certain, certain situations where you can see them but they don't think they've seen you, just act that way um, and then push around and come back around from where you've just gone. And 9 out of 10 times this will work in your favour um, in terms of getting kills and helping your team out a little bit more by getting the kills and uh, obviously in eliminating the enemies. Now another subject of this video is adapting to certain situations. Now in this, this part here, there's only one guy left and I'm kind of hunting around for him. There's two guys up in my team, so it's not going to be that much of a problem if I do die. If you was by yourself, maybe you want to take more of a, a conservative role and camp near the bomb somewhere. But this guy was actually in here somehow and I don't even understand how he didn't hit me. But he was just sat in there and you just got to hunt around. If there's two players up on your team, just hunt around and look for the kills. Because if you, you know if you die, it's not that much of an issue. If there's two players up, it's two against one. You know, you have the numbers advantage. So in this round, a lot of my teammates die straight away. And I'm trying to pick off a guy with long range with the MSMC, which really isn't the best thing you can do. You don't want to engage someone like I just did there. So I decided, you know, throw my hunter killer run to the other side of the map because I've obviously shot so you need to move away from that area uh, unfortunately the majority of my team is actually already dead so I, I think to myself you know I'm gonna go pick up the bomb um, and hopefully pick some people off at the same time but I don't manage to get anyone I call in my UAV because there's only one guy left and I knew for a fact there was a guy heading over there so I thought I'd help him out but unfortunately he dies so I'm by myself and I'm thinking to myself you know I'm gonna, I've got to get this bomb down on air and if I get this bomb down, that gives me an advantage in terms of they've got to come to me and I've got the time advantage and they're not going to be, you know, on the, the forefront. Here, I actually press the pause button to see whereabouts are coming in from the UAV and I noticed that it was going to be coming from the back. So I, I covered this area with the MSMC pre-aiming him and he just walked into my aim and that's an easy kill. You know, if you, if you guys are uh, defending the bomb site, pre-aiming like that is one way of getting, you know, easy, fast, simple kills. It's really, really effective. If you want to, you know, succeed at defending a bombsite, something like that is extremely good. So we're going to head into the final round here, and I actually call my UAV pretty much straight away. The reason I call in my UAVs pretty much straight away is I like to see where they're going on the map. Now, I don't want to be calling a UAV in, you know, like 10, 15 seconds later when the, the, the initial rush is gone, because you don't know where they're going, and you can see on the radar, you know, a lot of them, and I mean, like, the whole team is coming B-side. So if it wasn't for that UAV... I'd have been clueless to the fact that the whole team had been coming B-side and I'd have probably died because I'd probably pushed in a bit too far than I should have. And this part, this part is the kind of sucky part of the uh, gameplay. A lot of assists and not kills unfortunately. So I hope you enjoyed this gameplay guys. I hope you enjoyed like the kind of mindset that I just went into. And if you did like it, leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.